virtual Pi Day. So we missed Pi Day at school. It was the day after we all left, but we're not going to miss it in math class because Pi is too fun to miss. Today we're taking a break from factoring and we are just spending a day hanging out with Pi. Um, you're going to tell us what you already know about Pi. You're going to watch one kind of historical video and one kind of fun video, they're all number file videos, about Pi. You're going to try a Pi activity. It's either like a math experiment at home, um, a art project, May, I'd like to see an art project, and a like online string finder thing, which is kind of fun. So it'll be kind of a relaxed lesson. The one thing I want to note is at the end of the lesson for your assessment, we're going to be doing a Flipgrid video. And this is a video that you record of yourself and post in um, this like thing online. So just I can see it and your classmates can see it. So I'll be asking you to record out on the things you learned about Pi. It's like a simple, quick way to make a video of yourself so we can see each other and share what we're learning with each other. And that'll be an option for assessments coming up in future math classes. Um, why learn about Pi? Learning about Pi, for one thing, is obviously super important for geometry. It also shows us a lot about the history of math. And the history of math is really cool and important because like all history, it helps us understand the present better. It helps us understand math better. It also gets to that question of like, do we create math? Do we discover math? And Pi especially is this like crazy piece of evidence that math is this weird thing that who knows where it came from, but like it really is embedded in our world. The fact that this number, 3.141, like, this infinite never repeating number is like a natural product of the shapes in our world. Like that's crazy. Why? I don't know. But thinking about it more, learning about it more helps us understand math more.